be Yankee Aviation Storm Services that supplied their stock with camel replicas. Those and more down in the vintage incredible seat. But that quality of performance always apparent in the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team's efforts. And so the Hawks of the Red Arrows about to roll and get into the air, squadron leader Adam Collins. Trailing patriotic red, white, and blue smoke. Red one pulls them up as they move into short diamond formation over the top of the loop. A platform visible against the blue sky as they descend with red one about to twist the formation to the right. Red one is squadron leader Martin Pert. Martin is a former Harrier and Typhoon pilot. He previously served on the team and is in his first year as Red One. <laughs> Typhoon goes as Red One as the smokes of four, five, eight, and nine come on. The edges of diamond sweeping back, ready to form the wings of the aircraft you've already seen display today. It's our current multi-roll fighter aircraft based at Coningsby and Lossiemouth, currently on operations in the Middle East and defending the UK skies 24 hours a day, it's Typhoon. Get those cameras ready for the Typhoon roll. Yes, Apex at 3,000 feet, the Typhoon found ball, this one against the bright blue sky. On the right of the red one Typhoon is Red 2, by Lieutenant John Bond. John is a former Chicago pilot and instructor displaying the aircraft in 2012, and he joins the Red Arrows from the Typhoon Force. Lightning goes, says Red One. The smoke comes on with four and five. The jet's moving forward, about to represent another aircraft you've seen already today. Arriving in Mara a couple of weeks ago to start its RAF service in the UK, the Lightning, a fifth generation stealth aircraft capable of simultaneous air to ground, air to air, and electronic warfare missions. As the nose lights come on towards us, the smoke is about to come on for the lightning loop. (laughs) 
As the Jets approach their apex in the lightning loop, on the right-hand wing is Red Four, Flight Lieutenant Chris Lyndon Smith. Chris is a former Tornado GR4 pilot and Hawk T1 instructor, and he joins the team on his second tour with the Red Arrows in his second year. Gentlemen, this is lightning. Lightning moves off to our right hand side, the smoke comes back on. Red one moving the formation into their next position. This one a very technically difficult formation for the pilots to fly. The aircraft forming into six line abreast with red six and seven tucked in behind. This is Phoenix. On the left of red one in Phoenix is red three, squadron leader Mike Ling. Mike is a former display pilot in the team before doing six years as red ten and returns to the team as red three for the 2018 season. The smoke's about to come on, get your cameras ready for the Phoenix Prison. Red 1 as Phoenix moves off to our right hand side, Red 1 bending the formation round to the right, about to move into the next position. <laughs> Diamond go calls Red 1, the smoke comes back on, the wings of Phoenix are going to sweep back into our trademark formation that's seen on all the Red Arrows crests that we wear on our arms. The smoke's about to come on. Get ready for the diamond roll. As the jet apex from their roll at 3,000 feet, on the left wing we have Red 5, Flight Lieutenant Dan Lowe. Dan is a former high beat pilot and work instructor and he joins the team for his second year. As Diamond moves off to our left hand side, we're about to have my favourite manoeuvre of the sequence and I'm sure many of you will agree. This one always gets a good reaction at the air shows. As Red One moves time to get those cameras ready for Tornado. Let's listen to how excited Red Nine is today as he calls aboard for the start of the manoeuvre. Get those cameras ready. Our board calls Red 9 as Red 8 and 9 put the red and blue smoke on and roll around the smokes of the rest of the formation. Red 1 about to bend the formation to the left with the smoke colour changing. This is Tornado. as Tornado finishes and moves off to our right hand side. Well, the end of the Tornado maneuver, ladies and gentlemen, means we're approaching the end of the first half of the display. So far we've seen all nine aircraft in graceful formation aerobatics from the left and the right. Well, we're about to step it up a gear. We are about to change the tempo as we move into the second half of the display. 
Red One has moved the aircraft into Phoenix formation, which means he's going to start the second half full. We're about to see the aircraft break down into two sections, Enid and Jippo, a five and a four, with the synchro pair then splitting off for their manoeuvres. And pulling up calls Red One, Red Six and Seven staying low. The jet's about to split into a huge palm with the synchro pair staying low. Right car! Three right car! Seven, the synchro pair is basically low with the white smoke coming on. Red six on the left, red seven on the right, being chased down by red eight and nine. And seven, about to do four point rolls as red eight and nine pull to the vertical. This is the Jippo Pass. <laughs> Now look to the front light, the nose lights on Enid are coming towards us. Get down, says Red One. And the jet's forming its vertical. Red Nine pulling around the corner to go straight. Through. Red One gathers Enid back together in the right hand bend as the smoke changes from white to red and blue. Red Nine pulling up to the vertical with his red, white, and blue. comes on, eight and nine about to roll around, red six down the middle, this is Vortex. Split says red six, as the synchro pair split left and right, red eight comes on through the middle, red eight is quite a good amount of numbers, back to the Again with a closing speed of over 700 miles an hour, the jets pull towards each other. They're about to do on position barrel rolls. Circus and to JB. 
Straight ahead, Ward Python. As Red One leads the aircraft in the first barrel roll, he's flying in leader's benefit formation with Red One at the front and Reds 2, 3, 4 and 5 in line abreast behind him. The team would like to send their best wishes to Spencer Blissett and his family.
gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for watching the show today. Thank you for listening to me. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope we've inspired the younger generation in the audience today. And we'd like to thank you for your support for the British Armed Forces, for the Royal Air Force. And all that remains for me to say is to wish you all the very best from the RAF and from all of us at the Red Arrows. As I mentioned, that coming up later today will now be with us. We expect at five past four, so five past four for that surprise item. But now, I believe George Bacon has some announcements. Uh, yes, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Uh, they're doing very well. Uh, a tremendous uh, introduction there. But gear team, you've got to go to the RF experience area and pick up a token first. Now, many of these may already have been collected, and uh, you can get two people in per token. And uh, due to demand, that's why on all of the uh, days that we're running the uh, Red Arrows display here, of course. And uh, just go along there to the RAF experience. Now, meanwhile, you might like to capture uh, memories of these uh, fabulous air displays you've been watching. And Air Tattoo uh, has uh, all the things on their Air Tattoo DVD and Blu-ray. And that includes, of course, a two-disc collector's item, an outstanding DVD for you. And that will include also uh, some uh, feedback and, uh, of course, a recording of the uh, fabulous fly pass in London last Tuesday. Now, particularly for children, make sure they've got hats on, plenty of sunscreen, and, of course, you have plenty of fluids uh, for them to drink as well. And a reminder to uh, keep all your belongings with you at all stages throughout the course of the afternoon. Now, don't forget, there's a lot going on behind you as well, right through the show ground. Nine typhoons in the fly pass to follow them, six one seven to quarter Yes. Followed by In the bright sky, the sounds of Icarus still braved us to the wings. To say the truth, the things are quite different. Uh, she's like the overweight the cannon girl who blows away the audience with her athletic prowess. So the sound of it. Said Wimbledon is still being played, so let's put it this way. English tennis fans, when they, when they have no longer...